Uh, hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install BlueStacks on PC that's able to run Pokemon Go using a spoof. Uh, excuse my sniffs, I, I have allergies. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is download BlueStacks off the official website, and I'll, I'll post links to everything also, but if you want to be safe, you can just Google the, the name of the each APK and find them yourself. Um, Okay, so it was going to run it as administrator, which probably doesn't matter, but that's what I always usually do. And I did learn earlier, I, I got through it like halfway through a video, and it turns out <coughs> you do not need Super Sue um, after you install King Root with this, so that's good. And King Go Root does not work, so we're going to ignore that. I just delete it now, okay. Uh, next, next, uh, next. You leave both of them checked. And the first thing we're going to do after it starts up is um, install King uh, King Root. <laughs> and when it does start, just hit Android because it takes a second to load it. First, first initiation it takes a bit. <laughs> Okie doke. Um, now you just want to. Yeah, I'm just going to hit agree. I always disable Google, but whatever. I just usually hit yes in the beginning. <coughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is hit APK on the left side here and choose King Root or New King Root that you can find on, I think it's kingroot.net and something like that or kingroot.com, but download the one for Android, uh, so it's an APK file, okay, and then it should install it to, to either your apps on BlueStacks, kingroot, so we're going to run that first, uh, scroll to the bottom and hit try, try it, it usually takes uh, about a minute or so, <coughs> and just hit fix now. It's weird too because BlueStacks, uh, like if you run root checker, it shows that it's uh, rooted, like successfully. But whenever you actually try to like put expert mode on on um, that fake GPS application, it it doesn't work. And like same with Super Sue, like it says it can run it and everything, but it's, uh, I don't know. Usually starts going quicker, about 19% or so. Okay, so and I was trying to, <coughs> I don't know if maybe having Super Suit installed, it, like conflicts with Pokemon Go, because whenever you try catching Pokemon, you can get like one throw in before it crashes the app. And but uh, it's a good thing it loads really quick, so and you can usually still catch the Pokemon um, as long as they doesn't break out of that first throw <laughs> and you hit it accurately so but pokestops do work um, and you just gotta be cautious on how far you jump because if you try jumping like across the country you're gonna be soft banned for about 30 minutes to an hour um, <coughs> which I mean, isn't a huge deal I usually do just so I can jump to like Central Park or something from where I'm at because I'm in a pretty like rural area I guess um, I'm going to create a new account for this just to show you guys but alright let's see so after we have Kingroot installed we can just close that we're going to um, just click on this cogwheel on the top right and restart Android plugin just so it's fresh after rooting we yeah let's see. and then we're going to install Lucky Patcher after that you just got to remember do not install um this fake GPS, and again, don't run any EXEs you find while downloading the apps from or the APKs from websites. Only, only save the APKs. I don't want to do this right now. All right, so yeah, Lucky Patcher install. And we're also going to. Um, copy files from Windows 
Actually, I think. Well, let me see if we can. We don't need to do that. Lucky Patcher. Make sure you hit allow. And then we're going to rebuild and install. Uh, okay, so yeah, we do have to add it. Okay, so hit this. Yeah, let's go back. Okay, now hit hit this uh, like folder and it's to copy files from Windows. And we're going to copy the fake GPS 4.6 over to Android. We're not going to do anything with it. It should save it. So now with Lucky Patcher, it should be in here. I don't know where they save it at, but we'll find it. Oh, Windows. Okay. Okay, so yeah, hit SD card. You actually don't even need to do this folder thing. Just hit just hit Unlucky Patcher. We're going to go down. Okay, so let's start over. We're going to go down to Rebuild and Install. And then we're going to hit SD card. And then Windows. And then Documents. And then wherever, or wherever your folder is. So I'm going to do... I think I'm under Downloads, actually. It's... Uh, I still find my pick my shit. I just shared. Okay, so it's right here. Here we go. So we're gonna install it as a system app. After you find your fake GPS, just so click it, and we're gonna install. Make sure you click this one, not install. Install as a system app. Okay. Do you really want to make this application a system app? Yes. Please reboot to apply changes. I'm just gonna hit no for now, and close this out. And then we're going to manually do it. Restart Android plugin. I think if apps try to force close BlueStacks, it, it gets like laggy or weird. Android is upgrading. It might pop up again. Let's see. Yeah, you're not going to see the apps in here, or that, that fake GPS app. You should see it in Lucky Patcher though. Whenever we run this, so now I'm gonna copy over Pokemon Go because we should be about done. Um, Pokemon Go. All right, so that's installed. Let's go to settings, and we're going to uh, make sure your location is under high accuracy. Um, Google location. Let's uh, deny. Okay. For Google location, yeah, since I'm not logged in, it, it shouldn't matter. <coughs> and you also, I don't, I don't know how to do it on certain versions, but I know for Windows 10, I just type location, and I can choose, I can change this and make sure it's off, because I know if it's on, it keeps my like Windows GPS on, or my computer GPS on, and it will not work. <laughs> It'll, you'll get that failed to detect and and all that shit. So. Make sure both of these are off, these two things. Change, if you have Windows 10, and change. Okay. <coughs> so now, uh, the first thing I, ever, I always do whenever I run um, BlueStacks is I open Lucky Patcher. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's You don't even need to do that. So it's right here. Fake GPS. And usually, like after you close BlueStacks a few times, you won't see this like here because it's a system app so you'll have to go to search and then filters and then system apps and apply and you'll only see like you'll see your fake GPS okay so we want to click it fake GPS and hit launch app let's ignore all this shit and then go to this top right thing here I'll full screen it top right thing and go to settings and then make sure this is checked expert mode if you didn't root properly it uh, it won't let you check it, so make sure that's checked. Um, I like keeping auto close checked because it makes it a little easier. Just leave all these settings default. I mean, you can fuck with them if you want, but um, I usually just leave them default. Okay, and then <coughs> close this out. Let's see. Okay, Lucky Patcher. Yeah, see how it's not showing up right now. So we're gonna go search, filter, system apps, and fake GPS launch. All right. Let's see. All right. So now, uh, you can hit escape to get out of that, or you're up here you can just hit back the back button or whatever. So now I'm gonna do Central Park. 
or wherever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I did go to Japan though earlier, and there's like no Pokemon there because I guess it's not released there yet. I'm like zooming in just a bit so I can see. This is a really good spot too because if you get right here, there's four um, four Pokestops like within. If you if you line this just right, there's four Pokemon stops that you're in range of, so you don't have to move all around for them. Like especially if you're like doing something else, you're watching a show or whatever, you can just like um, <laughs> just click the Pokestops every five minutes. But there's four of them, so it makes it nice. Uh, okay, so. We're setting our location to here. This is how you like move your pin around uh, wherever you set. You can save it to like if you hold it down, you can click on or let go, and then you can save. So that way, I can come back later. And then hit this little play button or like accept, I guess, and it'll close out. All right, that's normal, so that's good. And then go back to Android and hit Pokemon Go, and you'll notice too like it's um like you'll see the icon on the top of the bar so it makes it easy to switch your locations because you can just drag it down and then click back in the maps and then set your location and hit the little play button alright this is loud so let me close it And now we just gotta turn off the uh, Google locations. Let's do that real quick. Put it off. High accuracy. Let's try device only. Maybe we gotta quit out of blue stacks all the way. Expert mode is on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, yeah, I just had to hit. You just had to engage it again. Should load all the shit in a second. I don't know how good their servers are doing right now. So you just want to hit the map a few times, just engage it. But I usually do have um, high accuracy on and not just GPS only. But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I see it's not showing if it failed to detect anyway, so that's good. But it's also not loading, which means they're probably having issues with their damn servers, like normal. <laughs> um, while this is waiting, you also want to. They already have the chance. Alright, you also want to follow this guide here, and I'll post a link. Um, I know it's for Snapchat, but it's to disable your camera on BlueStacks. And you just you just go to uh, Reg Edit, and then you follow this. So you go to Local Machine, and then Software. Bluestacks, Guests, Android, and then Config. And then you'll double click camera, change this to decimal, and then this to zero. And then OK. And then exit. I know it says one, but it's not. That's to enable it, so. <coughs> I thought I was going to be able to show you it actually working, but... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here we go. So, let's see everything's loading now. I can see the Pokemon nearby. Click on this. Yeah, you do Pokemon shit. Yes. Yes, but it does, um... I'll go back to my my spot real quick. That I usually like. I don't know, it's like somewhere in here, but I, I never can get it the first time. Oh, did I? I might have. You don't have to click all the bubbles, either. You just spin it and hit exit. Can I get this one? I don't think so. That's one I normally can get to. That's one, all four of them. Oh, nice. That's a good spot. Alright, so that's working. I'm gonna save this. That's why I can have it. Um. Okay. Actually, let's move over a little bit and see if Pokemon crashes. I know it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty positive it's going to crash. There right, should be a Pokemon like right here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so. I always just uncheck this. Yeah, it's gonna crash. Oh, it hasn't crashed yet. Holy crap, it's not crashing! Oh my god, it's not crashing! Nice! Oh. Sweet! I've been trying forever to, and it's crashed every time, so now it's not crashing. Pinsar is 481. Oh my god. It's so hard to throw on your mouth. On your f Just ignore this, okay? <laughs> You're headbutting the way. Jeez. Th throw a raspberry if you get out of this one. Throw a raspberry on it. I can't believe it's not crashing, that's so cool. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Nice, sweet. And it's now, it's like you go to your Pokemon, and we just got a Pinsir. So everything is working. Everything's working, which is cool. Alright, I'm going to end this video now and upload it. Peace.